Man, you guys like, you come out of the woodwork. Oh, there it is. You come out of the woodwork and um, just start like donating like crazy when I least expect it. I have four songs here. <laughs> Man. Brockhampton. Stuff. Let me get this. Uh, let me get this put in real quick. Oh no, it's on the old one. Hold on. Chat box. Paste. Yep. All right. So just give me one second while I get these put in. How many left to request? Uh, I don't know yet. Let me put these in. Maybe a few spots on this stream. Let me add these. How's everybody doing? Everyone good? Looks like we got some some new people here joining on the second half. Okay, um, so we got, oh, Mark Ventura. Ooh, what? What? Interesting. Okay, Morphine here. That may have been our last one, Mark. Yeah, that's, that's, our, that's our last one that Mark just did, so we're full. Um, if you do want to donate one, Todd, it will happen next week, though. The unit. Do, do, do. Yeah, they're all they're all filled now. Dang, you guys are nuts. You guys are nuts. Thank you so much. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're, we just <laughs> filled up the last, the last chunk here. All of a sudden, dang. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go back to this. We'll put up request closed. So anyone who wants to request now, it will happen on next week's stream, next Monday's stream. We got a, we got a full house today. Full house. Thank you all so much. Really appreciate it. I, I told my wife, like, I only have, like, four or five songs on the docket, and then I come in and start the new stream, and I'm like, oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. All right. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, dive right on in, shall we? For some reason, my, uh, my live stream tab keeps falling out of sync, and it, it's not live anymore, and I don't know why that is. Stay live. Okay. Uh, anyway, so it's uh, it's a truck, truck on forward through the other side. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So we have another track from good old Jean, um, who I I don't love this band per se, but. Um, I remember, so I've heard Olympian and something else off of Olympian. What was it? Does anyone remember? I actually don't remember and I'm not going to go looking. Uh, so <laughs> we're going to listen to something from Drawn to the Deep End. Um, uh, what was it? I just had it. Truth, rest your head. Was that what? Was that it? Okay. Save me, I'm yours. That's the one we're doing today. So, without any further ado, let's uh, go ahead and kick this off. <laughs> this.
This okay. bed feels cold and empty. Oh. This is very nice. The ghost will come and get me. So won't you please stay here? I'm scared. I need you to save me. Nice guitar. Uh, this is easily my favorite Gene song so far. But this room is like a jail. This is legit. That's good. Hidden gem. Like, great acoustic guitar, great electric guitar riff, um, super pleasant composition and vocal performance. Like, that's my favorite Gene song so far. Easy. Easy peasy. Wow. Thank you for that. Uh, I think that was Zajac, so thank you. Uh, all right. All right. We have uh, just one of my favorite bands i think it's hard to say because i haven't heard these albums yet but i will be um yeah uh spirit of eden laughing stock are just absolutely freaking transcendent and mark hollis is a madman genius um but i have heard it's my life which i'm not super into but such a shame to believe wow it's good sorry i just had a moment <laughs> But um, what's cool is we're going to be doing the B-side to Life's What You Make It, which is from Color of Spring, right? Um, and this is, yeah, I'll just featured on the um, the B-sides, Asides Besides um, compilation here. And it's not on Spotify. So 
we will check this out here on the YouTubes. I am very excited. We listened to one, um, John Cope. Do you guys remember this? It was, this was a B-side to I Believe in You. And we did this on the top 10 single streams. John Cope is cool. You guys heard this? Just listen to this for a split second. This one's legit. Everyone should go check it out. Uh, it's getting late in the evening. I haven't heard anything from Color of Spring era. Butter. It's pure butter. Talk Talk is legit. Very sparse. Everybody's left So excited to listen to this band. I can't wait. It is. The vocal equivalent of like a screechy violin. mix between their pop and their like post-rock jazz stuff Music addict, I'd be interested to uh, hear your opinions on Laughing Stock. It's unlike anything else I've heard before. And it took a while to sink in. And it's nothing like It's My Life. Album. Also, I, I call you Greg, not Music Addict. Yeah, it's one, considered one of the first. That's loud. One of the first post rock albums. But it's very ambient, very jazz. Um, very minimal. But it's incredibly beautiful. Their album before, Spirit of Eden, is more of the same, but it's not quite as focused, in my opinion. But there's just just as many beautiful moments, I think, on there. Really sublime stuff. Thank you. 
It's not for everyone. I'll readily admit that. If someone says they don't like Talk Talk, I'm like, I, I get it. It, it, hits, it hits a lot of nerves for me. It didn't at first. It took a while. I don't know, there's also something about, like, Mark Hollis's life that kind of vibed with me. Him, like, having this pop success and then kind of retreating and making more artistic work. And then just kind of, like, slowing down and wanting to uh, just live life, more or less, in, with his family. Um, I vibe with that in context with the music, I think. There's just something very intentional and mature about it. Yeah, there's zero energy, especially in the late stuff, so. It's very meditative and introspective, and I would argue philosophical and spiritual as well. See, this is just like really deft sophistipop in my mind. Great. I really like that. That was fantastic. That's right up my alley. And like I said, I can't, I think Color of Spring will end up maybe being one of my favorite albums from them because I really enjoyed Such a Shame. Uh, and it had all of that, you know, uh, new wave energy. Um, but like the, the things about the last two albums, like I just explained, just really hit me. And so. I think finding a good balance in the middle will be like right up my alley. So, all right, next one that we have more of this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, we did Verna Lint last time. Do you guys remember that? Um, what did we listen to? Attention Stockholm, and everyone liked it, right? It was like spy music. Um, this is all spy music. Okay, so this is not necessarily, this is something else that we're listening to today. I experienced love. Um, Attention Stockholm was, was pretty, pretty good. Pretty good, I won't lie. So let's see what this one's like. Oh, you were not kidding. I haven't heard the rest of It's My Life album. I've only heard the last two albums. I've heard It's My Life and Such a Shame, which are from uh, It's My Life. But I'm going to be reacting to them because I'm the first three albums. I've done, they have five. I've done the last two. I'm going to do the first three. Let's put it that way. Yeah, I, I think such a shame is infinitely better than uh, It's My Life. What an interesting album this is. This is on it in addition to Attention Stockholm. Thank you. 
Yeah, I think the spice song is better, but this is, um, I don't know. There's something very European about it as far as like pop music goes. I don't know really what to compare it to. The production is cool. It's, it's a little like schmaltzy or cheesy maybe, but like, I can't really knock it at all. Seems itsy thin. Let's just, let's just, let's just, uh, let's just go back for one second. <laughs> that was, that was, that was nuts. Um, yeah, that wasn't bad. Uh, crazy that that's on the same album though. Wow. Um, but not, not bad. Uh, like I said, like. Definitely has the kind of like a certain like European like schmaltz poppiness to it um, that only Europe was able to achieve. But honestly, like I don't dislike that. I, I kind of have a soft spot for it if I'm to be completely honest. Um, okay, not that. That's my that's my Redfin page. Um, 31. 28. So this will be interesting. We have The Verve. Um, I've been told that their debut album, well, I mean, obviously, uh, you can tell, wildly different from their, um, it's tongue-in-cheek, there you go, uh, wildly different from uh, Urban Hymns, which is more, you know, Britpop stuff. You got Bittersweet Symphony on there, obviously, with all the chamber aspects to it. Can I, can I like, come clean? I don't really like this song a whole lot. Am I in the minority? Um, it doesn't do anything for me. I grew up listening to it, and it's just the most like vanilla song to me. Maybe that's just me. I don't have anything against it and anyone who likes it, but like it doesn't turn any of my cranks whatsoever. So that's why I was interested to be like to discover this and and think like, oh, this is like something a little bit crazier going on here in '93. Um, slide away is the song off of this album that we're doing. Shoegaze, Neo Psych, Space Rock, um, bit overrated. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. So let's go ahead and uh, check out Slide Away. I like that bands called themselves things that were like impossible to talk about or search. Like the the. Like terrible for search engine optimization, but what did they know at the time? <laughs>
Um, I kind of prefer like spiritualized in this arena, but this isn't bad. I like this more than bittersweet. Uh, yeah, like I said, like, I prefer, like, something a little bit more in the spiritualized vein around this time. Laser guided melodies, maybe. Um, but this definitely has that kind of, like, uh, proto Britpop thing kind of lurking in the shadows. Um, you can kind of sense that it's there. Uh, nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. Not really my speed, but uh, I can see the appeal for sure. Okay. Um, now. Now it's time for good old Greg. This is your submission, right? Um, the Ocean Blue uh, from 86 from Pennsylvania. Oh. Never heard of this band before in my life, which means it'll probably be very interesting and solid because it's a jangle pop song. Uh, from the self-titled album, title track, uh, opening track here, Between Something and Nothing. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Probably will like it. Let's go. This kind of sounds familiar, but I don't think I've heard it. Yeah, it's got an echo vibe. Vocals are very similar. <laughs> no, that's okay. I had a, I, that was really fun. go away. I don't have time. <laughs> Love you, bye.
It's like uh, it's like Echo with less post punk. Gothic. stuff solid stuff i like that i'm kind of dropping some frames i apologize let me try to change that real quick hopefully that'll fix it a little bit um yeah that was that's super approachable like you said very echo in the bunny men but um had a more uh i wouldn't even really say new wave aspect to it but definitely poppier and not as gloomy or, or moody um very much brighter um Cool find. Cool find. I like that. Thank you. All right. Uh, now we have the Brock. The Broccoli. Uh, we've done one Brock Hampton track on here before, which was Boogie, I'm pretty sure. Because uh, it was on the top 10 single streams. Um, kind of crazy hip hop if I remember correctly, I don't, or was it JPEG Mafia that I thought was crazy? JPEG Mafia is on here. Uh, we have Buzz Cut with Danny Brown. Um, it's hardcore, it's experimental, experimental, chill, and it's conscious. Good for you. Let's listen. It's like Captain Beefheart of hip hop, huh? Man. Uh, 
Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Why did that happen? I'm not playing it. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, okay, so let's, uh, we have two of these in a row. Uh, so I will, um, is my wife messing with me? I think my son might be trying to listen to music. They might not know that I'm using Spotify, but why would they be playing this? They were just watching Wreck-It Ralph earlier. <laughs> I'm so confused. It keeps, it keeps playing. I have to keep pausing it. I hear my son singing it out there. Sorry, Felicity tried to use Spotify. There we go. We figured it out. <laughs> Thankfully, it was at the end of a song. So no worries. Cool. <laughs> That's funny. It was like, what, how does that have anything to do with what we were just listening to? Um, down for everyone? What? Is the stream down? Uh-oh. There it is. We're back. Yeah, so, uh, Andrew, do you want to pick a different song? Because apparently Brock Hampton just kills everything. I was going to play your next one, but um, apparently that wasn't very popular. <laughs> so uh, let me know what song you would like to replace it with, because uh, that's brutal. Man, 47 minutes in, we've never had a stream go down that fast that is brutal i wonder let me look up uh let me look up and see like what copyright brock hampton has uh let's go with whatever ralph wrecked it um empire distribution it, i don't think it was the wreck it ralph probably not i doubt that like honestly do you want to do you want to see um this doesn't even have a detection on it let's see al city you're like a 40 year old a 20 year old it's just umg yeah that um, i doubt it's that it probably wasn't like honestly, like I could try to play this for like ten seconds, see what happens. We'll see if it does it. Oh gosh, I'm gonna puke. I didn't know there's a music video for this. They were just watching it earlier today, my kids were. It seems okay. Not the song, but, <laughs> you know. I don't know. I don't know what it... Uh, I don't know what it was. I'm going to assume it was the Brockhampton, because I haven't had trouble with... I think that's the uh, the credit song. I think, I'm pretty sure that's the credit song. Um... Yeah, I because I haven't ever had problems with UMG like that. 
And Empire Distribution seems like a different deal. So I don't know. But um, yeah, Andrew, if you can figure out another song, that, that'd be good. Because apparently, apparently Brockhampton is like just the worst as far as copyright goes. Um, when was the... Uh, I've heard Rosalind. I'm so sorry. It's a great track, but I've heard it. <laughs> Let me, uh, while, while you're figuring out another one, um, let me let me go look and see what uh so this was 20 uh 2017 okay i'm gonna go look at my uh 2017 top 10 single streams and see if it got like what i had to do for it to be visible 2017 oh it's blocked Okay, did I have to re-upload it without the Brockhampton? Yeah, Boogie on behalf of Empire blocked in all territories and they rejected the dispute. So I, I must have... Uh, did I upload that as its own video? I did. Did it have Brockhampton in it? It did not. There you go. Brockhampton is the poison, apparently. Now we know. Now we know. Uh, if you're okay with it, I'm just going to truck forward and um, do this next one as 20. And let me know what you want yours to be um, for 21, if that's all right. Um, okay, so sorry about the, <laughs> the madness. There we go. So this is Fleeting Joys. Um, we did something off of the last album they did. Uh, Hooked into my soul? I can't remember what song it was. Someone recommended this. Probably the same person who did this one. Um, Lake Placid Blue off of Speeding Away to Someday. I don't remember if I liked it. I think I did. I can't remember. But uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, oh my gosh. Don't remind me. Um, Lake Placid Blue. There we go. All right, let's listen. It's explicit. Sorry. If this brings the stream down again, I don't know. Uh, I haven't heard that. Favorite song so far? Um, it's getting late in the evening by Talk Talk. Uh, the Gene track that I think you recommended, Save Me, I'm Yours, that was really good. The Travis track was decent. Um, the wire track was kind of nuts. This is the day was good. It's been it's been solid. It's been a solid set.
Hello, hello, am I back yet? Hello. Hello, there we go. Finally. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do emergency plan C. Um, and we're gonna do a third stream. <laughs> uh I'm fixing up the um the thumbnails now. And we will just do a, a third tiny stream. It's a pain in the butt, but uh I mean we gotta do it, right? Um so because of this, I can't really give you a stream key yet. So um, I, here, here's, here's what I'll do. I will take this stream, I will copy it, I will paste it, and I will play it over here. Um, play it over here. There we go. Uh, and what I will do is when the stream is over, we're going to do another stream transition. <laughs> when the stream is over, I will paste in the chat the link to the new stream, and I'll probably just go live right away, okay? So um, just wait like one second, and we will uh, we will go over to the next part. So just uh, please hold your horses, hold your horses.